Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. PTE AV Studio Slide Styles and Themes How do they work? There are a number of slide styles that come with the installation of PTE AV Studio. These slide styles allow some adjustment that you can make when you apply them. Let's take a quick look. We need to have at least one image dragged down from the file list above, where you can see all of my thumbnails, down into the slide list below. We need to select that slide and then go to Styles and Themes. We need to make sure we select Styles rather than Themes. We'll come back to these a little later. And in the Style section, I'm going to go to my Borders and I'm going to select Border Perspective Pan Left. Now if you look up at the top right, we get a representation of exactly what this slide style is going to do. If we look to the right of all of these slide styles in the Borders category, we're told that we only require one image for this slide style. That means we can apply it to just the image you can see down at the bottom left corner. But of course I could select 50 or 100 images and apply exactly the same slide style with just a couple of clicks. But as you look to the right, you will see that you do have some options to make changes to that style. Speed, full duration, and some options with the border as well. Border size, background, and blur. Now if I wanted to apply this style, here I'm only dealing with just one image. All I've got to do is hit the apply button. There you see the thumbnail change down at the bottom left and it reflects the style that we've just created. But there are styles that we can make ourselves which we can save and we can share them with others via import and export. Let's go back down to the styles and themes, remembering that the image I have at the bottom left in the slide list is still selected. So back into the styles and themes, this time identifying styles once again. Here I'm going to go to my user created styles. There's the one that I've created myself. You can see it uses three copies of the same image, but we only need one image. Now what you'll notice with this slide style is it contains text as well. And that's because the slide style was made for the presentation of images in a camera club. And of course the words author and title would be replaced by a name and of course the title of the image. But everything else that's programmed into that slide style can be applied by just clicking the apply button down at the bottom right. Remembering we can add it to one slide, 50 or 100. Let's go down and do that. Click apply. And there's the new style applied over the top of the other one. In effect, it's replaced the old slide style completely. So let's take a look at that style playing full screen. There's a fair bit of animation and work gone into this, but as you can see, it can be applied to one image, 50 or 100, with just a couple of clicks. Now as you can see here, I've refreshed the slide list with six images. Three colour and three black and white, but I've positioned them alternately, and you'll see the reason for that in a moment. If I wanted to apply a slide style to all of these images, Everything works fine. Now let me quickly do that for you by selecting the first image in the slide list, holding the shift key and clicking on the last and all those in between will be selected. If I then go back down to my styles and themes and I can locate the styles and the ones I want to use, let's go back to those borders Let's just assume that what I want is a border pan right zoom in. 
So first of all, we get a representation of what the slide style is going to do on the right hand side. But if I go down and click apply, we have the slide style applied to all of these images. But what I'd like to do is to quickly remove the slide style from all six images. So once again, with the slides all selected, if I go to my styles and themes, and I go to the basic category, there you see you have an option, no style. Click, and we're back to where we were a few moments ago. Suppose I select just the monochrome images and I apply a style to those. Something unusual is going to happen, and that's why I'm demonstrating this to point it out. So here I'd like to select the black and white. Holding the control key, I'll select the next one and the last one. So I could be making a slideshow and I think, well, I'd like to add a slide style to these three, but not to the color ones in between. Let's do it by going to Styles and Themes, into our styles, and again, we can pick anything we like. Let's go to the borders and we'll pick Perspective Pan Right. When I click Apply, you can see there's a problem. It's moved all of the images that I selected for the slide style and as you can see, made them follow each other. So if we'd done a fair bit of work on a slideshow here, we could screw up some of the work we've done. So a little bit of care needs to be given when we apply slide styles. Now here's a good question. What is exactly included in a slide style that's either built into the software or one that we create? To demonstrate and talk about that, I'm going to go down to my first image for a moment, select it, and open the Objects and Animations screen. The slide style includes the transition type and also the length of the transition of this image onto the screen. It also includes the entire slide duration the time the image first starts to appear on screen to the moment that it's removed by the next image. A slide style can include animation as we've seen and that animation can be basic or a little more complex. So everything from when the image starts to appear on screen until it's replaced by the next image becomes the slide style. Slide styles can include more than one image, but that's for another time. Now, as you can see here, I've come back to my slide list and I've applied a few images down into that slide list. If you've created a slideshow and you've carefully synchronized your images to music, commentary, sound effects, or perhaps all three, if you then decided to add a slide style at this stage, it does require some thought. Remember, the slide style includes the slide duration. Take a look at the slide duration at the bottom right corner of all of these thumbnails. That represents the fact that I've been at work here, lining up these images to a piece of music. If we look at the image which is third in this sequence, as an example, you'll see the slide duration is very little more than three and a half seconds. So if the slide style we're about to apply to this image had a greater slide duration than the image that we've got synchronized here, then we're going to have a problem. The synchronization of your entire presentation could in fact be affected because we've got a slide duration of the image currently on screen of 3.604. But if the slide style I applied here had a 10 second slide duration, it effectively pushes the next slide further down the timeline. It must do that to accommodate the extra seconds that we've applied to the slide style. But of course, when this image moves, all of the others following it also move too. So by applying a slide style to a carefully synchronized slideshow, 
you could run into problems, but now you know exactly how they work, so you can take steps to minimize or prevent that. Now, if we had a number of images in a presentation and we did want to add a different slide style to each one of those images, we'd have to apply the slide style one image at a time. Now, we'll demonstrate that with three or four of these in a moment, but given that we could be applying quite sophisticated effects to our images via the style we're about to apply, this one at a time application is not a great hardship. So the procedure would be to select the first slide, styles and themes, select the style that we want. Let's just pick the one at the top and apply it. Then the next one, styles and themes. I can double click to apply rather than having to go down to the bottom right of the panel. So that speeds up the process a little more. There's number three. Of course, you can pick any ones you like. I'm just going down the list for convenience. But when you consider what we're actually applying here, we've done an enormous amount of work in the few seconds we've been talking. Now, before we move on and talk about themes, just remember one slide style will fully overwrite any previous slide style that's been applied. So let's talk about themes, but I think this is going to be quite quick after dealing with slide styles because of the similarities. Like slide styles, some ready to use themes are installed with PTE AV Studio. But we as users of the software can also create our own themes and share them just like styles. PTE AV Studio themes are simply a collection of slide styles that can be applied to a large number of images in just a couple of clicks. Take a look at a couple of related videos that I've linked to below if you're viewing on YouTube. We can select from the styles that come with the software, but we can also use those created by ourselves or others. Now a theme could be made up of a number of slide styles on a theme and what I mean by that is more or less what we're looking at here. With the Ken Burns effect, all of the slide styles that make up this particular theme are similar, gentle pans, zooms and rotation. But the slide styles we use could be completely different. They could be made up with just a set of those we like. Now there is one issue I'd like to remind you of, and it's exactly the same one that we dealt with with slide styles. If we apply a theme to a batch of selected images, if I selected all of these images, I can apply a theme with no problem at all. But if I were to select the second image and then the fourth and then the sixth, and I applied a theme to them, then the position of those images on the timeline would be changed just the same as as we demonstrated with slide style. So that needs to be borne in mind. Now, as you can see by the spinning round of the screen, I've changed things just a little bit. What I've done is to drag just 12 images down from the file list above into the slide list. What we're going to do is to select all of these. I'm going to use the shift click method. So I'm going to select the first of those slides, hold the shift and go to the extreme right. When I select the end, I'll select all of those in between. Now I'm going to go back to my styles and themes button, making sure I identify themes. Now, when we look at the themes here, which could be exactly the same as any sets of themes we make ourselves. Now, as we look at each of these categories, we can see that we're told how many styles each one of these themes contains. So we've got 12 images down in the slide list. Does that mean I can't apply this particular theme because it only needs four images? No, it means that there's only four different styles. But of course, with 12 images, 
they're going to be repeated three times. As we can see here, most of them have four. And we get an idea of exactly what they're going to do if we just watch them in the little player at the top right. There's the slides. Waiting for the next one to come up. Quite a long slide duration there. And the wedding set. But I'll jump back to the Ken Burns because here it says there's eight styles within the theme. Well, we've got 12 images, but we can apply them to three images, five images, 12 or 112. It really isn't an issue. So although I do have 12 images selected, I'm going to select the border pan and zoom at the top. We can go down to the apply button, but we can apply a theme in exactly the same way as we do a slide style with a double click. Now you saw a rapid change down at the bottom there, but to be sure that something's actually happened that we expect to happen, we're going to need to look at one or two of these images. So let's have a look at the first four or five before we move on. So there we can see the first of the slide styles that appear within this theme. There's eight in total as we saw, all going to be very slightly different. When we create our own themes, we can have the themes regimented. In other words, we can decide which slide style comes up first, second, third, fourth, etc. Or we can just tick a box and we can have them randomized. Well, there we can see how quickly and easily it is to add a theme to, in our case, 12 images. But as I keep saying, it could be 112. Now themes also work in a similar way to slide styles in as much as we can overwrite one theme with another. Because every time we do that, everything is replaced. We don't add information, we replace it. So here I could use Control A to reselect all of the images in the slide list. If I go to my styles and themes, I could go to a different set. And if I double click the creative set, then they will overwrite those which were already there. Supposing I want to remove them entirely. Well, once again, let's go back down to styles and themes. But this time, switch to your styles and go to the basic category select no style, hit apply, or just double click no style. And there we are, right the way back where we started. Now I've already made a video which goes into the creation of themes in a little more detail, but I think it's worth taking a quick look here to bring this video to a close. So let's go to styles and themes. We need to make sure we select the themes and then from the tools button on the bottom left corner, we need to select create a theme. There we have the opportunity to make as many themes as we wish. We can see all of the slide styles that come with this software, basic, borders, captions, experimental, image and wedding. And there you can see one that I created myself, but we could have a much longer list. If I just hit this little down arrow. Let's pick one with quite a number of slide styles within it. Let's pick the borders. So I can select, I can tick the box and I can select all of these or I can just select the ones I want. So if I just want that one and that one, you can see if I drag this down a little bit, can't get that right, here we go. You can see they're appearing down here. So I can jump around all of these options and select as many as I want. I can change the position, I can remove them, I can add them, I can apply them in a random order, I can have a set style to start the slideshow and a set style to end the slideshow. I get the opportunity to give my theme a name and a category and a little bit of information about who created the theme. There's an enormous amount of scope within PTE AV Studio.
Now as you can see by the spinning round of the screen I've gone ahead and selected a few slide styles. If you look up at the top left you can see that it's indicated that I have taken more than one style from the basic category, the borders category and the image category and the tick against the user created styles indicates that I've taken the one style that I had there. Over on the right hand side I've given my theme a name, called it Various for obvious reasons. The category I've called Barry's Theme, a little bit of information about myself and why not give myself a plug with the website too. A little further down I've ticked the box so that all of these styles come up at a random order. All I need to do to create that theme now is to click OK. And when I do that, we're done. So if I selected all of these, Control A, Styles and Themes, Themes, what I'm looking for here is Barry's theme, double click, and all of those slide styles within the theme have been applied. I'll see you next time.